Hello, welcome to In Studio. I'm Ian M. Butterfield and in this video I'm going to show you two different techniques for photographing a bottle of beer, including lighting it with reflections and using a light tent. There are several different ways I could light and photograph a, a bottle. Uh, the, the thing that we need to think about with anything like this is reflections. Now you may want those reflections in the, the final product or you may not. The first technique I'm going to show you keeps the reflections in there. The second with the light tent will remove them altogether. So let's look at the first technique. The main thing that we need here is a piece of white card that goes on the, on the table. I'm using the white wall behind me as a background. If you haven't got a suitable white wall, then you can use any bit of white material behind. It should be so far out of focus that it won't, any detail in it should just disappear. I put the bottle of beer in the middle of the paper, middle of the card. I'm angling it slightly towards this, my main light. And that's going to, uh, to illuminate the, the bottle. It's also going to give a little reflection down one side. I've got a second light set up over here. And that's pointing straight at the background. Because I want the background to be white, to match the card, pure white. So I'm illuminating that separately. I've put my camera on tripod simply because it's easiest to work this way. And I'm using uh, a set of triggers to, uh, to trigger the lights. Settings on the camera, manual mode. Uh, I'm going to be uh, shooting uh, 125th of a second and I'm just going to do, rather than take a, a light reading on this, I'm just going to guesstimate the settings that I want on it. I've set both lights to uh, uh, 2.5 on their power and I'm just going to focus this up and take a quick test shot. So we're in focus, quick test shot. So looking at the histogram, I can see that uh, with the whites are more or less white, the, the bottle's okay, it's perhaps just a tad underexposed on there. So I've got two options. I could put the power output up on both the lights, or alternatively, I can just open up the aperture a little. So I think on this occasion, that's what I shall do. So I'm currently on F10. I'm just going to open that up to F9, take another test shot. And on there, we can see that's uh, a much uh, nicer rendition of it. Uh, there's a bit of a graduation of the light across the background, so I'm just going to bring the backlight in just a little bit closer uh, to deal with that. To about there, take that test shot again. And that's a little bit more even now on the background lighting. So happy with that as, uh, as my setup. What you will notice in that image is we have got this stripe of light down one side. Now you might like that in your image, you might not. If you don't like it, the only easy, well, the only solution, the easiest solution is to use a light tent. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up the light tent and show you how we do the same shot with, um, uh, with a light tent and how we illuminate that to re remove the reflection from the bottle. Okay, so we've got our light tent set up. A light tent is basically a cube of translucent material which will diffuse any light that's falling onto the, the product inside it. Now there's lots of different ways you can actually light with a light tent and that varies from uh, using, I have seen up to five lights being used with a light tent. Uh, the setup I've got here is fairly straightforward with just three studio lights. And what I've chosen to do is to put a light either side of the tent, um, two soft boxes. 
you don't have to use soft boxes. I choose to do that because I'm trying to get the light as diffused as possible. And I've got a very large, my largest soft box at the back to provide backlighting on the product. I've set my camera on tripod. I'm using radio triggers as usual in the studio. And the aim now is to photograph the, uh, 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 the bottle of beer and uh, to see what sort of reflections we now get uh, using the light tent. The light tent should cut all that down because the light is diffused and it's just bathing the product in light. So let's take a, a quick test shot. So you, you can see from the, the image that we've got dramatically less reflections using the light tent than when we were doing the same exercise without it. Now, what you may have also noticed that the light tent has got a front cover to it. Now, the cover is used uh, to actually cut down reflections further. And there's a little slit in it, as you can see. And the idea is that that will fit around the front of the cube. It just Velcros on all the way around. And the purpose of the slit is so that we can just poke the camera through. And I can take the shot again. So there you can see that the, the bottle now has uh, almost every single reflection removed from it by using the light tent. The light is, is so diffused that we're not getting uh, any more reflections on there. Uh, gives us a nice clean image to, uh, to work with. There's just one final um, trick that I want to do with this particular shot, just to add that little bit extra to the image. And that simply involves me taking the bottle, taking a sprayer, and I'm just going to spray onto the bottle and put it back in. That will give us the appearance of condensation on the bottle and making it look cold and inviting. So put that back into the, into the light tent, reseal up at the edges. Just check the composition still okay. And refocus, of course. There we go. And I shall now retake that shot. And there we have our bottle of beer with condensation on it, making it look all the more inviting and appetising. So that's how you would use a light tent and why you would use a light tent. Thanks for watching this video from Ian's studio. Please stay tuned for future videos. Thank you. Bye bye. This has been an in-studio video presentation by Ian M. Butterfield. All content and photographs are copyright Ian M. Butterfield and may not be reproduced without prior permission. For more information, including how to subscribe to this and other videos, please visit www.ians-studio.co.uk forward slash videos. Thank you.